In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set your laser pointer on your vinyl cutter, its position against the blade on your vinyl cutter. So this is based on your particular machine. The default settings are usually pretty good, but on your particular machine they might be slightly different and it really is worth the uh, effort of calibrating that laser's position. The first thing I recommend you do is you swap a blade for a pen. So you're much better off having a pen in here because we're going to plot out some uh, lines shortly on a piece of paper we're about to print out. So I'll show you how to do that. You simply come up to the vinyl spooler up here and click this button and the vinyl spooler loads. Now we're interested in this calibration tab here. Now there's a quick calibration which I'll click on there. If you follow through these instructions that's a very quick way. It's usually pretty accurate but if you want super accuracy you click on this button here and this module comes up. We just follow through these instructions. First step is to print the calibration sheet. So you click on that, you click OK, and your printer will print something that looks a bit like this. Well, it looks exactly like this. It's the uh, offset calibration sheet, and we need to print this out, as you can see here, and we need to position this sheet into our vinyl cutter as you see it here. This should be the bottom right-hand corner that you see in your cutter once you've loaded this sheet in. So just load it in just like this, and you can see here it tells you here to load it into the cutter this way. So you load it in and then you click perform calibration test. And this window pops up, the align cut file wizard. So what we need to do here is, I'll just click next, we need to actually move our laser pointer over this bottom right hand mark. So we move that laser pointer using the arrow keys on the cutter itself. So this is on your vinyl cutter. You use the arrow keys and you move the laser pointer over the bottom right hand mark. You can use a magnifying glass. If you do, make sure you don't get any reflection in your eye um, and position that mark, <coughs> that laser pointer over that mark. And then press origin on your cutter. You must press origin on the cutter to tell it that is the zero, zero position. Very important. Once you've done that, click next and you'll see that the uh, cutter uh, will advance to the next uh, mark, as you can see it has here in this, in this uh, illustration here. And then we can use these arrow keys to physically move the position of the uh, vinyl cutter's head uh, with a laser pointer on it to be right over the top of this mark where the cross crosshairs meet each other. Then we go and do the next mark, the next mark, final mark there, click next. We click cut now and we're presented with the vinyl spooler ready to cut the calibration test. You put a pen into your vinyl cutter, make sure it's got a pen in it, click yes and it will go off and um, plot out these two blue lines, as you, well, the colour of your pen. It'll, it'll, it'll plot these two lines out like so. So I'll just show you what uh, that looks like in real life. So here we've got a sheet which we've printed out and we've actually done the calibration test and this is the results we've got. So if I zoom in here, what you'll see here is that it's two millimetres to the left, so it's negative two millimetres, and from the zero it's positive three millimetres. So what's happened is when we've plotted this out, this is the effect, this is the results we've got. Negative two and positive three. Okay, we need to now tell the software this is the results we've got. And we do that back in this module. So we come in here and we type in, and you can see that it highlights this mark here to tell us that's the mark we're working with. We need to type in negative 2.0 millimeters, and we need to uh, type in three millimeters, because that is our offset. We click accept, done. And now the software knows that the calibration of the laser is what we've just typed in. So now when we do print and cut um, artwork, we'll get a far more accurate result. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.